Hey there, comic fans. I am back from the comic shop again this week. And uh, as probably many of you know, it was a real slow week at the comic shop. Uh, last week of the year, not much new out. There was nothing on my pull list this week. So I, I pulled a couple items off the recent shelves and also uh, got myself some backing boards. Uh, I'm so old school that I... I'm from before the time of backing boards. Uh, backing boards really didn't become sort of uh, standard equipment with a comic till sometime in the 80s. I don't even know when, probably mid to late 80s. Um, so I, I don't put backing boards on everything, but I put backing boards in some stuff. Uh, and I was running out, so got some more backing boards. Uh, that's hardly exciting, but... Uh, you know what, I, I had the budget for it this week since I wasn't getting many comics, so I figured may as well get them now rather than sometime when the budget is tighter. And, um, let's see, then I got a random Walking Dead bagged one. I, I wanted to get more of these when they came out, the reprints, just for the heck of it, but you know, at, at, they're $4 a reprint, so they're not like the dollar reprints, which are, uh, uh, you know, just spare the moment. You, you can get them just on impulse, those uh, True Believers ones. And by the way, I've, I've been reading some of those True Believers Fantastic Four issues, and I have to say I'm enjoying them more than I ever did. Uh, I haven't read any of them in a long, long time, but uh, years ago when I read something like this, I haven't even, I don't think I've read all of Fantastic Four before 100. Because, you know, they used to not be reprinted all the time, except for Marvel's Greatest Comics. I read some of them in that. But I always found the writing kind of corny, especially Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman. But, uh, hold on, I need a sip. New, new green cap for my water bottle. Um, but now, when reading these uh, reprints now, I can I found Mister Fantastic and the Invisible Woman and the dialogue and the stuff that goes on between them rather sweet because I could really see sort of you know that was Stanley and his wife. Uh, after all, you know, all these years of hearing stories about Stanley and his wife and how much he adored her, uh, I can really see that. And the Fantastic Four writing now, so it, it was different different reading experience. Those uh, old True Believers issues now with uh, the knowledge of uh, more knowledge of Stan Lee's relationship with his wife. But well, anyway, let's open this. See which cover I got. I think there were like Virgin covers, covers by this guy, covers. I pulled that right off. But the I thought these were easy to open. What happened? All right, I'm getting the scissors. I remember these. Are, it was a lot easier to open when I I, I got uh, the Michonne first Michonne one of these. Who did I got? I got the J. Scott Campbell version without the logo, which I think I like the version with the logo better. But let's see. I don't even remember what this uh, issue was debuting. Oh, is this the first Governor? Looks like I got the logo list first Governor. Let's see. Who did this cover? Is this, uh, does it tell you? I don't remember if they, uh, eh, previously. Hmm. I guess they don't tell you who drew the cover. Was that, oh, hold on. I see a signature. Let's put the glasses on. Declan, 2018. Declan Shavy or something like that? That might be who did that cover. Who are all these people behind him? Oh, those, oh, those are the, he had heads in a fish tank. He, this guy really didn't want to draw fish tanks, huh? Wow, that's, uh, that's a pretty lean heads in a fish tank cover, I gotta say. I'm a little disappointed in that one. I uh, wasn't a big fan of the Michonne J. Scott Campbell cover, but I think I like that one better than this, so, uh, but what the heck? Got it, opened it. You know, Walking Dead 27, why not? And the other thing. I got. Once again, I wanted to get one of these. These are the Marvel flip covers. Let's see how well it works. There we go. That's the Wolverine 
And the clip, these look like it's working a little, these, these don't work that well. I think that's the main problem with them. We get a good view of uh, Black Panther with Claw in the claws. But the original one, the Wolverine with the Hulk in the claws, it's tough to get just the, the angle is so narrow for getting, uh, for getting a good view of the one of the images that it makes it, it makes it a little tough. But I, I didn't get any of these when they came out. There were, it was kind of like, ah, do I want to pay $4 just for a cover? But like I said, this week I had nothing else to get. So I was like, this was the one I wanted. Um, because let's see, Bob Wyatt, Bob Wyatt, who's a friend of mine, inked this original cover. So he's, I, he's done recreations of this, a uh, few recreations of this original cover too, where I, I helped, I, I remade the logo and stuff for him and printed it out on the Bristol board. So that's why I wanted this one, just because I remade the original logo, of, you know, once and then printed it out a couple of times. So I may as well have, I don't have the original at all with the Hulk and Wolverine cover, so I may as well get the special flip version of it. But uh, those are the only two comics I got this week. Good thing I had that Christmas haul where I, uh, I have some stuff to read. But uh, now we'll show you with the... Uh, here, here's a piece that I did recently. Up, the, It's in the sun. And by the way, this this was the simple one. My, my last two were so complex, I wanted to get something simpler, a giant head. And, and you know, this is pretty complex too, but it's also simpler than the other ones because there's not a million figures on it in the background. But uh, it, it, it was more complex being that uh, I made this from a drawing that I did uh, 10 years ago or whatever, but I, the drawing was on a square... Either way, I didn't have all this worked out. I had, I had most of the face worked out, and these horns here, worked out, and I had these horns here worked out. But I didn't have all this space down here where the the, the graphics are worked out. So I had to do that on the fly. But uh, I think it came out pretty nicely. I like that face. A taste of metal is the name of this one. Uh, don't ask me why I named it ten years ago. So uh, there we go. There's the new giant ink drawing. And you guys have a good week out there.